Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new and you like this type of content, consider hitting that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to give this video a like. We are on the journey to 400 subscribers. Now today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest film, Tick, Tick, Boom. Now in Lin-Manuel Miranda's dictatorial debut, Tick, Tick, Boom, is based on the autobiographical musical by playwright Jonathan Larson, who is played by Andrew Garfield. It's the story of an inspiring composer in New York City who is worried he made the wrong career choice. I had absolutely no idea Andrew Garfield can sing. Now is he like this great singer? I don't think he's a great singer, but he is a very, very good singer. This is uh, based on a true story. Tick, Tick, Boom is actually a a play that Jonathan Larson wrote. Kind of like, I guess like a, I don't know, would it be like a one-man show? So like we're watching a play while the story's happening. It's one of those where we kind of go back and forth while he's on stage, you know, doing his little thing. And then we're seeing the real stuff kind of happening and things. Um, this is... Definitely a movie for like theater people. I've never really been to a theater. I think I've been once um, years ago, but it was just like my local theater. I've never been to Broadway. I've always, always wanted to see a Broadway show, uh, but I've, I've, I've been to New York once and we were there for a day, honestly, and we just never saw a Broadway show. But I would love to see like the big production stuff. Now there are a lot of like names that are thrown around in the movie, but because I'm not like a theater person, I have absolutely no idea who they are. So again, if you are somebody who loves the theater and knows theater actors, producers, directors, like all play writers, composers, then I think this is going to be definitely the movie for you. You're definitely going to know who all these names that were just being thrown out without any kind of real backstory or explanation of who that person was because I had absolutely no idea who they were. They just kept kind of throwing names out and I'm just like, okay, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like this big time, like whatever, I don't know. Uh, but they're but they're there. Again, this is Lin-Manuel Miranda's like dictatorial debut. Um, he did come out earlier. Oh, he's had like In the Heights, which was another musical and then Vivo, which was like an animated musical, but he wrote those or composed the songs you know he wasn't a director for those and of course he also starred in those movies as well he has a very very tiny little spot in this movie here oh also fun little fact uh Lin-Manuel Miranda actually uh was in Tick Tick Boom on Broadway or in the theater deal he actually starred in that great that he's actually the one that's directing it even though it wasn't like the best direction but he does great because you know of course we know that he is a big theater um lover you know he was also he also did Hamilton now if you're like me where you just don't know anything about the theater and this movie just didn't really pull me in as much as I feel like it should have pulled me in and I feel like if I was you know from the theater world that part if I was a theater nerd then I definitely would have been pulled in this definitely would have been something that I could have been gravitated to you know you would have, of course known who um Jonathan um Larson was now besides Tick Tick Boom he did have this big successful um story play whatever Broadway show which unfortunately he actually was unable to see come to life because he unfortunately passed away I think like a day before or a couple days before it actually went well live for everybody he had like an aneurysm um you may have heard of it it's called Rent I have heard of that one but honestly the only reason I know about Rent was because I've seen the movie and I definitely like uh, this movie over rent um yeah i definitely do but besides you know being like a theater fanatic um if you are somebody who loves new york city then um i feel like in a way capture new york uh but definitely gives you a feel of living in a like very small tiny little rinkadink apartment the shower is in the kitchen you're an artist keep going keep pushing forward no matter what life throws at you no matter how many no's you get you know one day you're gonna get that yes it's probably that next project if it's not that one it's the next or the next or the next um no matter how long it takes if this truly is your passion just keep pushing forward because one day someday you're gonna get a yes so with that said before i do give you my score if you haven't already of course don't forget to give this video a like 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new tick tick boom the story of Jonathan Larson uh, before he turns 30 years old you know that terrifying moment in your life I am past those moments I'm living in the 30s already um but if anybody asks I'm just 30 you guys just 30. We're gonna stay here for many years and then at some point I'll turn 31. Uh, but it's like a couple days up to his 30th birthday and what has he accomplished? Not much but he is a very very talented uh, man who was taken too soon from this world. He really was trying to do something different and not just like the regular Broadway shows um they show the newspaper and honestly the only one I can remember was cats but they had like a, of course a bunch of like plays but that's the one that really stood out to me for one for I think I don't even know why but anywho uh, with all that said I'm gonna give tick tick boom a medium of popcorn if you've seen this movie let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it? did you hate it was it just not for you is it something you're planning on watching is it something you're planning on skipping it is currently on Netflix it is a Netflix original now have you seen the actual play in action like on the stage on Broadway like what did you think about it have you seen Rent on stage I'm very curious have you seen Rent the movie what did you think about that one <laughs> all right guys that's it for me today until next time see you guys at Conceptions bye